All right, moving on to the uh, sway bar bushings here. I got the links and the bushings to do. I'm just doing the bushings for now. The links are supposed to be in today, but it says they're delayed, so hopefully they'll be in tomorrow. I'll get these on there first, and then I'll be ready to do the links tomorrow. I don't really know why they're bright red, but I guess it doesn't really matter. Okay, so there's four, um, there's four 15 mil bolts to hold the sway bar on. They just bolt it up to the frame here. It's used to impact to zip those off. Well, the old ones were blue. They don't really seem that bad. I guess the inside's worn out, yeah. I'd be happy if they're just black, but whatever. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I got this side lifted up, that's why it's kind of flexible. I didn't really think about that. Well, I can hear the thunder, but it's a nice rainstorm working in the garage. Dude, you're always working on dodge. <laughs> <laughs> Soon I'll be driving it. Oh, okay. Hope there you go back. See, do I smell fresh paint? Yeah, probably. Well, it's been paint for a while, but I put her on thick, so yeah, I guess I still smell the paint. I don't have much left to do. Uh, oh, you got a roll-up door in the back, too? That's good. Yeah, it's handy. 
Driving oh. sleds and four wheelers and stuff in and out. Oh yeah, that's good. Pulling stuff in, I can go around the back of my truck and yeah, pull yeah, it in. that's really good. Yeah. Excellent. It's just uh, it's not power. No, no, it's not. Well, I got that one cheap used, so I figured it's a good deal. It'd yeah. be handy. The front one's power, though. Yep. Oh, yeah. And I like your motor on the side there. That's good. Yeah, I kind of need to adjust it, though. It's like hitting the ceiling, so I couldn't put my... Uh, I had to cut the brackets to put it lower, so when I close it, it doesn't really close right at the, the top. Oh, yeah? Okay. It doesn't see the flush, but they make a drop bracket, so I could lower it, and I could put the... Yeah, the shaft is the top higher than anything. Yeah, yeah. Okay, um, I want to talk to you about that tape. Why is it called PPF? Uh, paint protection bill. Okay. I, I'll, sh I'll show you it over here. It, it looks white, but that's just because it's the, like the back of the paper, right? It's, it's okay. Boring, you know what I mean? It's just, okay. Okay, no problem. Yeah, visit from a customer there. Better be safe than crippled. Something like that. Just got a couple more things to do to go on the road. Well, the sway bar links might not be here, but I might as well take the old ones off. We have to come off eventually. Let's just cut them off the grinder. Metal filings near that's always nice.
Alright, that's one side. Next. Alright, now that I got the sway bar bushings on and the sway bar links off, just start getting ready to install the new U-joint here. Ho hopefully I'll get that done, but if, um, if the wheel bearing starts coming apart like it did on the other side, then I'm going to have to wait because I got jobs to come in on the weekend. I don't know if they'll have one in stock. I don't want to risk it and have my customers not be able to get their job work done on their vehicles. It's, it's a little more important than my vehicle. So, um, yeah, we're going to start trying to take this part. Hopefully the wheel bearing comes off smooth. If it starts to get loose, then I'm just going to put it back all together and I'll put the truck out for now. Well, I'll put it out tomorrow after I get the links on. Alright, the links came in today. I'm going to put them on here. They're um, one with the suspension max. I've used these before. They seem to do pretty good. I have them on the Rebel. And uh, they've held up some pretty good abuse. So I figured I'd give them another go. And uh, these are for um, a 3 inch lift. So they should fit a lot better than the factory ones which were all bent. They're all bent and the bushings were all worn out. So. This is going to look pretty fancy on this old truck. Looks pretty good. Okay, it says to try and get the uh, bushing here as centered as you can in this brass piece before you tighten it up. And uh, it's about as good as I can get it right now. It's pretty centered. It's it's a little far back, but uh, I can kind of twist it maybe as I turn it. And so two 14 mil bolts here. And it also says you don't want to over tighten these. I think we're good there. That looks pretty nice. 22. Get that tightened up straight with that. <laughs> so you can fit a wrench over this one spot here. I'm not sure you can see that, the camera lens is broken, but it looks pretty good.